Hi, old friends. It's me. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. This angle does not favor me in any possible way, but I really don't care. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome to a day in my life. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I am kind of feeling awkward in front of the camera uh, doing a vlog again because I haven't done one for such a long time. But today I want to show you the other not so glamorous not glamorous, but not so maybe adventurous side of this profession of being a marine biologist, being a scientist, which is the computer work, which uh, is the majority of it actually. Yeah, so I've just woken up, if you can't tell. I already ate something and I already put on some some clothes. Okay. I'm gonna be working from home today. So I write much better at home. Uh, I like analyzing data, so statistics and bioinformatics in the office because I, I usually come across a lot of questions and there's a lot of people I can ask things to there but to write I'm one million times more productive at home I don't know why it's just where I feel more inspired and also there's this little thing that I like to talk when I write I somehow it kind of keeps my mind working so I'm writing and I'm talking and it helps me build sentences more correct correctly and I cannot do that in the office obviously because people will think I'm just crazy. Also it's annoying I guess, maybe, if there's someone always talking next to you. So now I'm about to have coffee and then we'll start. I hope you enjoy this. Welcome to my office. Here we are. Hi. If you have stumbled upon my channel just here, uh, let me just tell you what I am doing actually, what I work with. So the title of my PhD, the overall title is Microbial Communities and Plastic Pollution in the Ocean. Uh, which basically means a lot, can mean a lot of things. But what I am doing is I am studying kind of the interaction between bacteria in the ocean which if you don't know, there are a lot. There's like a lot, okay? There's just, they're everywhere. Like in this piece of water, you have like 1 million bacteria. So there they are, there are bacteria in the ocean and they are more than you can ever imagine. I am studying the interaction between them and plastic pollution in the ocean. Over the last years, uh, you've probably heard that there, it, there is kind of a plastic pollution crisis in the ocean. It's causing a lot of damage to wildlife and to ecosystems potentially and there's a lot of speculation on whether there are bacteria in the ocean that can degrade the most abundant plastics. And this is kind of the direction of my PhD. I'm kind of trying to shed a bit of light into whether or not there are microorganisms that can degrade plastic in the ocean or certain types of plastic. So that's it. What have I been doing? I have been writing my third and final manuscript of the PhD. If you've seen some of my videos talking about what a manuscript is or what a research paper is, uh, you already know this, but it's basically research papers is what scientists put out to share their knowledge or their findings with the rest of the community and with the world. Uh, you publish your research in international or national, it does, there, there's different types of journals, uh, in scientific journals and these journals are then published and the other scientists can then be acquainted with your work and your findings. In the past year I have published as a first author, which means I was the one writing the paper, I, paper, I was the main responsible for everything in the paper. The first paper of my PhD in which I was first author was published. And that's very exciting. And now I have submitted a second one and I'm writing the third one. So if you're interested in knowing how a research paper looks like, let me show you this one just very quickly. They always kind of follow the same format. It's like a report, like those reports you do in school, you know? Do you have an abstract? It's basically a summary of everything, what you find and what you did, blah, blah, blah. Uh, then you have an introduction explaining all the things you know that are known on the field. Then you have the material and methods where you explain exactly what you do 
The material and methods should be written in a way that if someone wants to repeat your experiment or repeat whatever it is that you did, that they can. So it has to be as detailed as possible. Then blah, blah, several parts. Then you have the results, so what you found. And then like with some figures and plots in which you show all the stuff you did and found and blah, whatnot. And then you have a discussion part in which, well, you discuss your findings in the framework of previous studies and you can kind of, it's, it's, the discussion is kind of the only speculative part of the paper. It's the only part in which you can speculate why you got your results, why you think these results were how they were. It's the really the only part in which you can be a bit more creative with your ideas because the other ones are just stating facts and things as they are. So now it's time to work. I've been talking for too long, I have to work. I'm already getting the work jiggles. I have no idea what that means, but let's just go with it. Okay, let's work. I'll talk to you in a while. Lunch time. I'm just gonna do some spinach ricotta tortellini with pesto. It's like the most lazy food you can make. <laughs> but let's do this. Do you think we like animals? Nah. Sometimes when I'm eating, I like watching a YouTube video or continue watching a video I was watching before or something. I've been listening to the lectures of Brandon Sanderson, who is one of my favorite fantasy authors ever. Uh, and yeah, so he gives lectures at university. I have to admit, I actually don't know where. One of the things I really want to do is improve my writing and specifically science communication writing. But I found that there's a lot of transferables from the more typical storytelling to how you write about science in a way that is engaging to people. People like hearing and listening to stories. And you can, and, and if you look at it, the world and the thing, the way things work, everything can be made into a story in an interesting and engaging way. And that's what I've been trying to kind of understand how to do, not only for writing, but also for maybe in the future doing a bit more high quality videos that people genuinely feel engaged with and, and feel passionate about. So yeah, I've been watching a lot of uh, videos on how to be a good storyteller uh, and uh, I'm following now Brandon Sanderson's lecture four viewpoint and Q&A on how writing science fiction and fantasy but a lot of these things you can transfer to write uh, science communication as well. So yeah, let's do that. In the meanwhile, my battery died and I had to recharge it. It's about a quarter past four. I've just been working. I've been doing like pretty things. Look, like pretty plots and yeah, they're pretty for me, <laughs> especially when you spend so much time doing them because, you know, I work with something called R, which is a program that kind of looks, well, this is R Studio, kind of looks like this, so you make your plots, you know, you kind of use a bit of programming, I mean, you bit use a bit of R language to apply programs that are already done, I didn't make the script for these programs. But you know, these, this is this kind of program that you just need a little tiny mistake, like a comma that's not in the correct place, or like one tiny thing to everything be wrong. And you can spend like hours trying to figure out what's wrong to then just figure, find out it was this one comma. <sighs> Relax. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it sometimes happens and it can be quite frustrating actually. But yeah, all good today. It's just... Um, Right. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of a pause. I might have like some tea and read a bit. I have a dance class at half past eight. So let's make a little pause and then I'll come back to work. I'm gonna finish a book, I think, because it's a book I'm practically done. It's called 
this in Portuguese. I'm sorry, it's in Portuguese. Uh, I, the original version is French, and it's about it's a first uh, it's a autobiography where she talks about her life in Cabo when it was uh, taken and dominated by the Taliban, and her life as a 20 year old woman who had aspirations and a lot of things she wanted to do with her life and then suddenly all that was kind of interrupted due to the occupation by the Taliban. I have about... Not about, I have exactly 30 pages to finish the book. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish the book and then I'm gonna go back to working. <sighs> Now it's time to go back to work again. It's what time is it? It's about, yeah, a quarter to five. I'm gonna work like uh, an hour or two more and then I might do another, eat something maybe and then make another pause, work and then go to dance class and that's it. about a quarter to eight and it's time to leave for my dance class. Just FYI, now the quality is gonna get worse because I'm gonna use my cell phone. And I have a prehistoric cell phone, so the camera's not very good on it. Uh, so yeah, okay, I just have to wait a bit to catch the bus. My eyes are very tired today. for the bus. Of course I missed the other one just like one second before I arrived. All is good. That was a very nice class. It was exhausting but like a good exhausting you know. And I'm full of energy and at the same time I'm tired. <laughs> Makes sense? No I don't think so. So yeah see you at home. I'm back from dancing. Back in my kitchen. Kitchen. <laughs> words back in my kitchen drinking water I'm exhausted and tired but happy and energetic it's a weird mix of feelings uh, I'm gonna have a shower now it's almost 11 so yeah and I stink hi <laughs> so I'm all showered it's almost midnight now I'm gonna go do some meditation, my every night 5 to 20 minutes meditation time, depending on uh, the my mind on that day. Then I'm gonna sit for 5 minutes on the couch before I go to bed and then I'm gonna read myself to sleep. Yeah, this 5 minute thing is like me and my boyfriend before going to sleep, we always like to sit for a bit. Uh, for even five minutes only doing something before going to bed. I don't know really why. Even if it's just like watching a video on YouTube for five minutes or ten minutes, we always do that. Usually he's watching a series or something on Netflix and I'm just reading or listening to podcasts or doing something or just watching YouTube videos as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm really sorry for the quality of this part of the video, but my phone, you know, and I just right now can't be bothered to get the camera in the other room. I'm just too cozy in bed right now. I do apologize. Uh, yeah, so this is the end of my very exciting day. I haven't vlogged for more than a year, I think. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I wanted to also vlog a day so I wanted to show you a day in my life 
right now. It has been more or less like this for the past half a year to a year, intercalated maybe sometimes with some lab experiments. I mean, I do go to my office, but I stay most of the time sitting at the computer writing. It's, as I'm constantly saying in this channel, it's a big part of a scientist's life to write up the research and analyze the data and write up the research and plan further research. So yeah, in addition to that, I also have to write my thesis. <laughs> so it's a lot of writing, a lot of sitting and desk time. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. I ain't complaining, just explaining. That was not supposed to rhyme, but it did. It was very random and just coincidental. I, I just should go to sleep. I can't anymore. So I'm ready to go to sleep. It's already past midnight. It's probably almost one. I do hope you enjoyed this vlog and I don't know when my next one is gonna be and if you will want to see more marine watch more marine related content subscribe just just have to press down the button below you can follow me on my other social media i'm mostly active on instagram and that's it i hope you have a nice one and i hope to see you in the next video bye good night <laughs>